So let's talk about the concept of rejection and feeling lonely. Uh, I want to try and break this down a little bit uh, to the best of my ability. Uh, it's a very broad topic, uh, but I'm going to try and narrow it down to one very specific thing, which I think is very relevant for uh, men, single men, and uh, dating. But before we kick it off, I'm Dave, and this channel is dedicated to giving you no bullshit novel dating advice for the modern man. Uh, top link in the description, you can sign up to do some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me or do a boot camp in the not too distant future. So why do you feel lonely? And uh, how is this associated with uh, single men and uh, relationships and rejection? Now, the idea about Billy being lonely uh, it's not necessarily people who are literally, they, they don't have connections to other people. Uh, a lot of people feel lonely and they have a lot of connections. Uh, they, they've got a lot of friends, they have work colleagues, they're, they're surrounded by people all the time, but they feel lonely. Uh, and the reason why you might feel lonely when you have a lot of people around is because, well, you're putting on a form of facade. So, in fact, your facade uh, is actually doing the connecting with all the people around, not your true self. Uh, you're putting on a face. You're putting on, uh, you're projecting uh, someone who you want everybody else to see, which is not really your true self. And the what you are projecting the facade is actually what is connecting with people around you and that's why you feel lonely because your true self is not really connecting with all the people around you. Now the solution here isn't just, oh, okay, let's just be more confident. Uh, let's just be our true selves and get out there. Uh, in fact, you've actually learned this. You've taught yourself this. Something in your past has actually taught you that there's something about your true self uh, that pushes people away, that, that uh, increases the amount of rejection that you get in your life. And so therefore you've learned to build this facade. So it's a lot more deeper than just, oh, be more confident, read some more self-help uh, books and watch some more videos like this and we're going to change everything. Uh, well, it's not quite that easy because this is uh, an ingrained deep inside of you uh, and that's why you're not able to be that confident self. It's not that easy. You've learned to build this facade and the more you build this facade, the lonelier you become. And this is where we get to the real problem. The problem is uh, this facade that you build actually helps you to make more friends. Uh, why, why would you want to show your authentic self when your authentic self is not going to be liked by these guys or these girls? Uh, you build the facade so they do like you. And so then the problem gets even worse because what you're doing is you're building the facade and it actually makes, it seems like you're getting a lot more progress in life. It helps you navigate the world uh, in a better way. This facade actually helps you uh, but the problem here is that the more connections you make through the facade, the more emotionally isolated you become. You see, I'm not trying to tell you to go out and be an asshole, go out and be mean to people, uh, be a bad guy. What I'm trying to say is that the facade shows an incomplete, uh, a low resolution picture of yourself. People can't really see who you really are. And we're, we're, the, no one's perfect. No one is perfect. And we all know that deep down. We all know that e each and every one of us is not perfect. So if they can't see a complete picture of you and they know that no one's perfect, you're not really hiding anything. They know that there's something there. And so therefore they're, they're happy to connect with the facade, the fuzzy facade, uh, but they're never really going to connect with you. You see, people do see that, and, and, and that's about letting go. 
you see, uh, maybe you should try uh, showing your authentic self to someone that you're close to. Just practice. It's not going to be. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be very difficult, in fact. Uh, but deep down, y you probably think that uh, by showing my authentic self, I'm going to be rejected. I'm going to be treated. Uh, people aren't going to want to know you. Uh, but remember that no one's perfect in the first place, anyway. And in fact, uh, the the least perfect person who is authentic and is happy to go and show people who they really are. Uh, could be polarizing enough that they make some real connections with uh, a smaller amount of people and they they feel less lonely because of those authentic connections. And I want to associate this uh, kind of vague thought about this facade that a lot of people put up. Uh, I want to associate that with the ego and how a lot of guys when they approach women and they do a lot of cold approach they're looking for the perfect canned line they're looking for the perfect opener and that goes back to the facade that goes back to i there's something wrong with me there's something wrong with you you feel like uh, if you show your authentic self and you look for a true connection with uh, not, a, not only women but other, other people in general, uh, that you're going to get rejected. But in fact, it's the opposite. Uh, because when you actually go out there and try to get an authentic connection and show your authentic self and be willing to roll with the punches, you're more likely to build a a serious strong connection with a girl from cold approach within literally minutes if you actually try to be who you are and show your authentic self without these canned lines without wearing a leather jacket and rings and London day game model style uh, fake alpha type behavior you see the guys that actually fight through the the real fear of breaking down the facade and trying to show who they truly are are the ones that tend to have the most success out there. And so that's what I wanted to try to get across in this video. I know it's a little bit vague and it didn't really come across too clear, but I just wanted to say that, you know, uh, when I'm coaching guys, some of them, they, they go, oh, well, what should I say next? Well, what should I, it, what a, it, you become a perfectionist and a perfectionist is someone who has the facade and wants to control everything because they don't want to just be authentic in the moment and show, the, show their true self because they're afraid of being rejected as well. And so then we go back to the canned lines, we go back to the leather jackets, we go back to the, the perfect uh, pickup line. Uh, but that uh, might seem and make f may you, make you feel like you're getting results. Uh, but I've, uh, from my experience, I put all these in a spreadsheet, and there's a big uh, boost in the in the beginning of the approach, and then that peters out, and they're less likely to uh, get past a few dates with these girls. They're less likely to reply. They're less likely to sleep with them. And they're less likely to make them their girlfriends. All because the very first thing that they said was not authentic. And it was not them. And you see, this is why when I'm uh, coaching guys out there about cold approach, uh, I, I, I bring this philosophy of... Let's innovate because I'm trying to get them to bring them their authentic self as much as possible to uh, the first interaction with a girl that they're interested in. And that's a hard thing to do. It's really hard, actually. It's, it's really tough. Uh, and it takes a lot of time and effort and it takes someone to be there watching you and, you know, pretty much, you know, giving you a pat on the back and go, all right, we're going to figure out a way to get this out of you. <laughs> uh, stop being a control freak. Uh, stop trying to be perfect. Stop looking for the perfect opener, the perfect everything. Uh, because there's no such thing as perfect. And no one is perfect. And once you fully embrace the fact that no one's really perfect, 
then the results will start to come. And I hope that makes sense to you guys at home. Uh, it's a little bit vague. Uh, it's hard to really narrow it down and it's definitely individual. It depends on who you are, uh, what your demographic is, you know, who, what your personality is like. And that's why some coaching can help a lot of guys out there when it comes to the sweet science of cold approach, uh, the sweet art of cold approach. Uh, but if you guys want to do some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, links in the description. Uh, my book's in the description as well. And I've also got a Telegram group where you can literally join up to my little group right now and speak to me right now, actually. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.